Welcome to video number 10, the Z end stop assembly. In this video, we are going to continue where we left off in the last video, and we are going to add the Z end stop onto the bottom left hand corner. So first thing is first we're going to go ahead and get our mechanical end stop mounted onto the end stop holder before we mount it onto the motor. Uh, it's a little bit easier this way because you can actually get to the back of the screw and to the nut. Now the nut is going to go on the front side because there's just not enough clearance to put the screw in the other direction. So go ahead and mount your end stop and get it tightened. As for now the height doesn't really matter because that's all going to come into play later on down the road. So for now, just go ahead and get that piece on there. Now, this isn't one of my favorite designs, and you will see why later on, but for now, this is what we're limited to. Um, basically, it's just because it can be very tedious to adjust the height of the mechanical end stop once you get it screwed into place. And that is something you will have to adjust in order to uh, set the nozzle height when we get to calibrating. Um, it's not incredibly hard, but it can be a little tedious to get it at just the right height and then get it tightened down. But uh, for now, we will just work with what we have. Once your end stop is in place, then go ahead and fit in the two screws through the holes on the end stop holder. And then you can fit it into the back two holes on the left bottom Z corner. And that's why we left those two holes open in the previous step. And then use your Allen wrench or your Torx bit or whatever you have and go ahead and, and tighten this thing into position. Now with the Z end stop holder, it might be enough of a spacer by itself to where you don't have to add any flat washers. Uh, if this isn't the case and you can't get the screw tight, then this is another situation where you're going to have to use more flat washers in order to pull the motor tight. 